Managers of Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi plant watch contaminated water build up every minute of every day. All they can do is remove as many radioactive substances as possible and then store the water in tanks on site. But that's not sustainable. So they're trying to block the flow by going to the source. The problem is workers must constantly inject water into three damaged reactors to cool modern fuel. The water mixes with radioactive materials and becomes contaminated. Then it leaks out and taints the groundwater that flows beneath the compound. Plant managers are trying to pinpoint the leaks, but high radiation levels are getting in their way. And our latest installment on Nuclear Watch looks at how engineers found a way around the hazard. Here's NHK World's Kenichiro Okamoto. A team of engineers entered the Reactor 1 building at Fukushima Daiichi in November. The engineers took a small boat with them. They planned to float it around the reactor containment vessel to trace the source of contaminated water. Months earlier, representatives of major institutions such as Hitachi GE, Kyushu Institute of Technology and the University of Tokyo came together to collaborate on the project. They had a budget of about $3 million. They fitted the boat with a camera capable of transmitting video, and they attached a specially designed cable to control the device. Radiation would have blocked the radio waves used in remote controls. They plan to drop the boat into the area surrounding the containment vessel and record video. But they had limited time to do the work because of high levels of radiation. So they rehearsed in a model of the reactor building. They needed to carefully drop the boat through a complicated piping system. Then they'd be able to do the survey. Once they'd run test after test, they got the go-ahead to do the real thing. The team set up at Fukushima Daiichi. They had to work in an area where the radiation level is 5 millisieverts per hour. They can only stay here for 15 minutes. So the engineers rotated in shifts. The engineers successfully placed the boat alongside the containment vessel. They used the remote control to move it around. The boat sent back a radiation reading of 2,000 millisieverts per hour. Anyone exposed to that would die in a few hours. The device transmitted these images, showing water flowing down the side of the containment vessel. The camera captured another leak nearby. Contaminated water was gushing out of a broken pipe. Experts analyzed the video and were shocked by what they saw. It will be extremely difficult to pinpoint the leaks. It will all depend on our ability to develop new robots. The space between the metal containment vessel and the concrete that surrounds it is only 5 centimeters. That makes it hard for engineers to get a picture of the clock so they can figure out how to fix it. Managers of Fukushima Daiichi need to find out where radioactive water is coming from in order to proceed with the decommissioning process. But they are facing an uphill battle, one that underscores the difficulties presented by the nuclear crisis. Kenichiro Okamoto, NHK World. 
And we'll be giving you a more detailed look at the contaminated water issue at Fukushima Daiichi this weekend on NHK World. Don't miss our program, Radioactive Water, Fukushima Daiichi's Hidden Crisis, showing at these times.